Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Antoine and in today's video we have a little repair slash explanation video to make which will be about the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 models with 5G antenna. As you know, Apple introduced the 5G technology in iPhone 12 models and up, which only made in America as far as I know, so that's why you can see the difference between both American and European version from the housing. The American one has the antenna obviously on the housing. Uh, and in today's video, I'll be talking about the uh, 5G antenna by taking this iPhone 12 as an example with 5G antenna, as you can see, and also an iPhone 13 Pro that I will show uh, later in this video. Uh, we'll be focusing on four things, uh, disassemble and desolder while separating the boards, uh, the replacement, uh, phone functionality without this antenna, and of course, the board view in ZXW to test each pin out after the replacement. Uh, so now let's uh, go under the microscope uh, to show you more closely how this antenna looks like and uh, how to deal with it. Okay, so this is the back side of the board where you can find the two 5G antennas. And here you can see a small upper thing, uh, care to the details as I like to call it, a black tape to protect the board from water damage and shorts. And of course, uh, to remove the board for the 5G models alone, you need to disassemble almost everything in the housing, but it is what it is. Uh, so you can see the flex that goes to the housing for the second antenna. The MM wave is soldered to the uh, downside or the RF side of the board, but there's nothing to be seen. It's just a flex that it's soldered on the board. You cannot even see the pads or the soldering between the flex and the board, uh, which is bad if you want to solder it back or replace it. So now uh, let's just go and uh, check also the iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, if it's the same look and the same structure and let's flip the board and uh, yeah uh, seems that uh, everything is the same I guess that is uh, going for all the iPhone 12 models iPhone 12 mini 12 Pro 12 Pro Max and of course 12 uh, have all the same look uh, to the 5G antennas and also have the uh, uh, noisy, uh, no, I don't want to call it noisy, uh, the black uh, tape, and here you can see the 5G MM Wave Antenna 1 and this second one, Antenna 2, uh, which are both uh, intermediated frequency model for the 5G waves. And here we have the flex connector that goes to the antenna model. On that, it's spotted uh, in the housing. I will show it in just a sec. And here we have the pin name. Uh, to each pin, which helps to check after soldering if you have all the connection correct in dyne mode. Uh, of course, we'll also talk about this uh, later in the video. And here you can see the uh, the model that uh, for the 5G that is in the housing. And after that, I'm going to show you also or demonstrate you a quick look at the iPhone 13. And here we have the iPhone 13, as you can see the A15 Bionic chip, this is an iPhone 13 Pro, and as you can see, same structure, same flex, and also the look for the 5G antenna, maybe a little faster, uh, but uh, I can assure you uh, that it has a different IC on the housing, in the housing itself, for the second antenna MM wave, and uh, everything looks also the same, for the flex and here you can see in the housing uh, the name looks different and I guess the IC is different also uh, uh, yeah seems a little different so between the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 it's a little bit different for the 5G waves and again let's remove the, uh, the black tape that protects the flex oh my god it's just so glued strongly glued I guess yep the same as the iPhone 12 you cannot see the pads you cannot see the soldering so which is a little bad uh, I guess now we are going to jump to the uh, first section of this video which is uh, the soldering or separating the board with uh, with this uh, antenna so next step will be separating the boards if you have a 5G antenna soldered and I'm using the Sunshine T12A preheater for iPhone 12 models and immediately uh, you can see when I'm trying to um, set the board on the preheater 
uh, the board doesn't set well so that can be bad because the temperature will not reach some areas of the board and therefore you will not be able to separate at all so this is going to be a demonstration for those who want to separate even with the 5G antenna for those who doesn't want to uh, remove the antenna you just want to uh, separate the boards uh, even if there is a free space on the preheater for the uh, MM wave uh, 5G antenna the second one still it will not land well on the preheater uh, you can see how the board now uh, I'm going just to check it's been a while I speed forward a little bit and you can see and the board got a little, uh, little buffed because of the temperature on the antenna flex which again the temperature will not reach everywhere by the way, I'm going from 170 to 230 Celsius, 3 Celsius, to separate even uh, if the iPhone 12 has a bigger board or have a bigger board. Uh, I already separate non-5G models with that temperature between 170 to 200. So I'm going almost max with this board. And yep, it's just moving, a little buffed. Uh, the, uh, the board is moving. So uh, still not uh, moving between the boards. Uh, so again, it's not recommended to do this uh, with the 5G antenna, uh, still solder it. Uh, of course you can go to use the both preheater and hot air station to separate if you have the 5G antenna soldered, as I said. Or you can just separate the boards without the preheater with the hot air station. It's your call, but here you can uh, see I'm not going to risk more temperature. So I guess now we will jump to the next discussion, which is removing and soldering the 5G antenna and, of course, uh, testing it. So entering the part where we'll be soldering and desolder the uh, 5G antenna flex from the board. So just little flux and we will sol uh, desolder with uh, 280 to 290 Celsius with uh, 13, uh, sorry, 30 air. Uh, with my uh, quick hot air station and you can see that it has uh, a low temperature soldering melt so I can confirm it can be removed easily. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video we cannot see the pads that connects the flex to the board so it can be a little tricky when you want to change or solder it back. So now we're going to clean everything we are going to clean the glue that also holds the flex on the board and uh, of course clean both sides uh, from the soldering and apply low temperature soldering paste on both sides. I'm using the 130 Celsius soldering paste so it can be soldered with low temperature and uh, of course uh, for soldering I'm using 260 to 280 Celsius but also air 13 with my quick hot air station. This technique uh, for soldering back uh, the flex it's a little tricky because most of the lines are ground and they are surrounding the important lines so make sure they are not shorted. Any shorted line could cause a short circuit or lose of the network uh, like no service or no modern fiber issue. So here we go uh, now we are applying the uh, soldering paste the uh, low temperature one just to make sure that everything is even and then we are going to soldering back, uh, soldering back. <coughs> So again, uh, the best way to test uh, after that uh, is, uh, after the soldering, is to check the end of the flex that connects uh, the connection goes to the IC on the board or in the housing itself. And uh, again, uh, I al already mentioned that earlier in the video, each pin uh, it's connected, uh, the, the connection of each pin in the video. And uh, now we're going to solder. You can see it's not moving. It's low temperature, so you need to hold it a little longer. And again, after that, you can test each pin. And now we're going to jump to the um, uh, last part, which is discussion in ZXW with the board view. And uh, of course, the functionality of the 5G antenna with and without. So jumping to last part, uh, little board view on the 5G antenna on the board and of course the board function with and without the antenna flex. So let's start with the functionality. So because this is the uh, second antenna for the 5G, uh, this is the MM Wave uh, 5G antenna first one. I'm expecting low 5G bars maybe in countries that support 5G but uh, since I'm from Ukraine I can't really test. Uh, you will still have uh, the first MM Wave antenna. Uh, that is soldered also on the board but not going to the housing but I guess this is a very important one the second one uh, because it also goes to almost entire housing which Apple did mention 
that the housing will be the biggest antenna part for the iPhone. Uh, now, without the flex or a damaged one, the results are normal for network from 2G to LTE, obviously beside 5G, so basically the phone will have network and modem fiber and full bars 2G, 3G and LTE if you have the other antennas connected, obviously, so this antenna is not affecting other mobile networks, expect the 5G. And that is uh, based on my experience for now with the 5G models iPhone. So uh, this is for the functionality, now let's focus a little bit on the board view and here we have our ZXW and you can see this is the iPhone 12, uh, yes iPhone 12 core and RF board and we talked about those uh, two antennas uh, but we can actually uh, forgot about one other antenna which is uh, this one over here that connects and I will show you for the G1100 and this is also a antenna called ES, uh, ISM or a Industrial uh, Scientific Medical MM Wave Reader. This one actually for human body detection uh, using this antenna radar, but this is not the main thing today. Uh, so those are the three antennas uh, that are very important for the 5G. Uh, but if you have a problem with 5G, check the, this one also, uh, it could be water damage because it's near an open area which is the upper speaker. So uh, now again back to the uh, 5G, uh, 5G antenna wave 2, the second one, you can see it is surrounded with ground pads uh, and uh, as I said earlier, once you solder, uh, you solder the antenna, uh, check the end of the flex for any short. It's probably the same structure for the iPhone 13 Pro and maybe for the rest uh, of the iPhone models, but this is for another day. And here you can see uh, we have the PPV bat, which is the voltage. The voltage. Also other one, the one v 8.5. Those two must have uh, a, um, uh, a reading on the uh, multimeter, but I guess those two are OL. Uh, I'm not very sure on the uh, end of the connector, but it does not uh, have a low uh, measurement or a low resistance on the uh, on the multimeter. So uh, this is basically for the uh, 5G antenna flex and for the functionality. And I guess we end this video uh, for about everything you need to know about the 5G antenna models. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's it for this video. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, if the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And uh, I'll catch you guys uh, in another uh, repair video or an expression video. Peace out.